Welcome back, Honest Man, Fallout 4, Survival. I'm here at Bunker Hill with Preston, and we have to talk to Kessler about killing Zeller and freeing the captives last time. One of the prisoners told me what they went through at the prep school. I had no idea. And you did that by yourself, right? Oh, here's the payout. What did the prisoner say about the prep school? Judge Zeller was snatching people and brainwashing them. Like some damn cult. No wonder their numbers exploded. Glad it turned out well. I'm happy you're on our side. With your help, the roads are a lot safer. Heard you got land of your own. Tell you what, build a safe place for the caravans to stop, and everyone can profit. But either way, you're welcome back to the hill anytime. <clears throat> Listen, Bunker Hill doesn't want any trouble. You have some seriously powerful friends. If it'll keep us on their good side, consider yourself to have the run of the place. And the next time you need something, just ask, all right? There we go. So a couple important things happened there. One was... This is now a settlement for us. Ta -da. Which means we could build like there's good water here, but there's no beds. Like the, this flop house up here just has mattresses. So we can actually put down a proper bed here, which is nice. And the other thing she gave us was the ability to build those waypoints. Waypoints for the traveling merchants, which we will do at Hangman's Alley. We'll do that later. I don't know precisely where it is in the menu, um, otherwise I'd show it, but it's in there. Now, we have to see a man in Good Neighbor. Hey there. Good Neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. The whole world's crazy. N -n no argument here. You ever listen to the Silver Shroud? Huh. That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. What can you tell me about the Shroud? He's from the radio shows. I've listened to all 419 episodes. And the holiday special. He's the best. Better than Grognak and Man to Man combined. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. So, I'm a time traveler. <laughs> I just got back from visiting George Washington. Now you're just playing with me. Though that would be pretty neat. You know what would be even neater? What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life. So he can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. You know you're completely nuts, right? No doubt of that. Sadly, that's not the first time I've heard that. I've built my own custom machine gun, even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I might do it, if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Okay, so we're back at Hubris Comics. Piper and I were here long ago. These images are a poor representation of reality. It's as if a child drew them. And I'm not sure if this is a full respawn or what's going on here exactly. Nocturnal? That's terrible. But good. 
Good for money. I'm super paranoid. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of footsteps. So, <laughs> oh, and this is locked again. Okay. I, I think the entire area, like, reset for this quest. Which is fine. It, it should predominantly be just ghouls, I think. The... I actually didn't want X6 for this part. I just wanted him for that beginning part for the uh, affinity bump. I was going to bring Preston back. But Preston sure is taking his sweet time getting back to Heyman's Alley. I got tired of waiting for him, so X6 it is. Heads up. I'm listening. <clears throat> what is it, man? Your thoughts? The world will be better off once the surface dwellers die out. That's a hot take. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth is dying a slow death. Your thoughts? I don't envy you. Succeeding father isn't going to be easy. Your thoughts? Can't afford to let your guard down, no matter how quiet things seem. That was all I had. Affirmative. The world will be better when the surface dwellers die out. Okay, heading up to the second floor. I am a bit surprised at how dark it is in here. Ooh. Almost got me. Wait. Did you hear something? <sighs> They're quick. They are quick, but not quick enough. It's bright. Yeah, I don't want anyone creeping up behind us. So, we're just going to go floor, floor to floor, just to be sure. Oh, come on. I felt like I had him there. I'm not sure what happened. the leg right off. Glowing one, huh? I wasn't sure if I'd be able to shoot through that. Front was soaking up the bullets. The Institute's founders frowned on television. 
They thought it was a detriment to science. Hmm. This is the top floor. Hell yeah. Okay, magazine here. This is not <laughs> great. Plus five percent damage with the alien blaster. I won't ask why you're reading a book meant for children. Probably never gonna use that weapon. But I think we are done here. Here is the costume. And ooh, here's the submachine gun. Silver submachine gun prop. Nice. Yeah, not a real gun, just a prop. We'll definitely take that too, though. And then on our first trip with Piper, we picked up like a trading card or like a picture, like a signed picture or something from a floor, second floor. Uh, but me and X6 will take a, a closer look. I think that's everything, though. And then we're going to head back to Good Neighbor. Okay, so we're back at the memory den to talk to Kent again. We did pick up a few additional things when we were rooting around in Huber's comics. Uh, namely, we picked up a script, which was in one of the locked rooms. And... Yeah, there we go. Silver Shroud script, which looks like a holotape. Uh, but it's just script. And then we also picked up a Grognock barbarian costume. This, Unless this has, like, some crazy weave upgrade it's just not very good even with the plus two strength because it replaces your underlayer and your chest so that's a steep trade uh what else the, the walk over to good neighbor was a real shit show uh but i guess the silver lining is that we did pick up a couple of side quests in the process we came across uh I'm not going to be able to find it quickly, but we came across the sort of random encounter to get the Jamaica Plain side, side quest. So we have the Jamaica Plain one, and then there's also one which I believe is for in Far Harbor, uh, so a junkie's note that uh, talks about a drug stash. And on top of that, there's a freaking Yaguay like in Boston. Uh, but that was enough to put me over the top on a level up. So we are now 54, and it is awareness 2 for that nice plus 5 to hit and plus 5% damage in VATS. So, feel pretty good there. For next level 55, we probably go and swing back over to better criticals. It's probably the direction we go. Yeah. Okay, let's go talk to Kent. Oh, and I was able to swap in Preston here. So he's with us. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's something else. Together with my gun... Everything's all set. Uh, what are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake, but the Shroud is strong, capable. Don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. If I go along with this, 
I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I, I, I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Why me? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you can't. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place better. So you in? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. Yay. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Okay, so he upgraded this a little bit. These are better stats than I believe I saw previously. And it reduces damage from humans by 15%. Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so we are officially ready to fight some crime as the Silver Shroud. Got our first mark. What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. You AJ? The dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. I'm a entrepreneur. I'm making a new market. Chems for kids, I call it. Cherry flavored jets, bubblegum mentats. Them Diamond City kids just eat them up. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what, I'll pay you. Let's say 50 caps just to shut up about him. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? 
stop selling to children, miscreant, or face my wrath! You better listen. Screw you. Waste the freak. I caught a bullet there. Right. Yeah, Preston loved that though. Speaking as the shroud. There we go. Two down. Galaxy News Radio. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to Good Neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Okay, let's see what info we can get out of Whitechapel Charlie here. Need a place to stay? Try hotel hey, Charlie. Make way for paying customers. You look like one of them wankers from the posters. What you wearing that for? You look upon the Silver Shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. A shroud, then? Well, I am nothing. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee it can be arranged. It is not wise to stand between the Silver Shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? In that case, her flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, then. Good luck. Okay, so we're here at Water Street Apartments. I did swap into X6 here because affinity reasons, basically. You must be Kendra. And you, you're the crazy one in the costume. Wayne Delancey's killer. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I do so like it when the little bug crawls willingly into the spider's webs. Wayne got what was coming to him. And so shall you. I'll do. That contract I just picked up looks interesting. Shelly Tiller. Why can't I read this? Oh, it is part of this Silver Shroud. Assassinate Shelley Tiller. Okay, so I'm up at the National Guard training yard. I actually have Strong with me, uh, which makes logical sense because like, we found this contract on an assassin. So probably not on the up and up. 
probably not someone who perhaps deserves it. Perhaps. Yeah, so she's up here. Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. Why in the eyes so bloodshot though? Hey. Please don't come any closer. What I just Yeah, Strong liked it. All right, now we gotta go collect the money. Let's do it strong. Okay, and here's our payment, 500 caps. Just tucked in a random case outside good neighbor. Okay, so I was about to pick up Preston for this last leg of the I wanted to talk about something. This last leg of the quest, but don't need to. Yeah, go ahead. I've been thinking back lately on how things were for me when we first met. It was the lowest point of my life. I mean, all my closest friends were dead. Everything I believed in had turned out to be a lie. I'd failed everyone who ever relied on me. I'd led them to conquer. And we had no hope of getting out alive. The thing is, that was actually okay with me. I was ready to die. It was what I felt I deserved. It was what I wanted. Are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. Sorry. I'm working my way to it. My point in all of this is that, well, you saved my life. And not, not just by saving, saving us from those raiders in Conquer. I mean that you made me want to keep living again. I guess that sounds pretty sad, but it's true. If we hadn't met, or if you'd killed those raiders and then just taken off, I don't know if I'd still be around. I think I would have found some way to, you know, end it. Maybe not by shooting myself in the head or anything, but just by not caring about staying alive. So I just wanted you to know that. How much our friendship has meant to me. That's great. But I'm not comfortable getting into this kind of thing with you. Oh, sure. I'll, I'll try to keep that in mind from here on out. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I guess we should get back to it, huh? Yeah, United We Stand. And this is this is one of the toughest ones for me to evaluate, I think. Because it's... Plus 20% damage. Plus 20 damage resistance. Amazing. But only when facing three or more opponents. And I just don't know how that's resolved exactly. It's like, did they have to all know that you're there? Did they just have to be in proximity? I think the value on this could vary wildly depending upon the answers to those questions, and I just don't know them. But in any event, no more Preston. So we're calling an audible for the final leg of the Silver Shroud. And I think Hancock is the one that makes the most sense, even though, you know, in terms of perk priority, we really need to switch to dance now. He's going to be probably our number one priority and we'll we'll sort of swap in x6 as needed to kind of spell our way to dance uh, if there's a delay at all but i think we're right where we need to be for dance so that's gonna be coming up quick anyway i'm done talking i'm gonna swap in hancock and get back to good neighbor okay back in good neighbor let's see what we got here a special update. No, it wasn't Bobby No Nose who offed AJ and his goons. It was the Silver Shroud. See his calling card if you don't believe me. Now's our time, listeners. Justice is coming to good neighbor. You'll see. Another headliner. Hancock seeks a special meeting with our hero, the Silver Shroud. Whatever it's about, be careful, Shroud. We're all with you. Galaxy! Radio. 
Yeah, how convenient. Look alive. Got my attention. Hey, Hancock. Playing dress up is fun and all, but you walked into something a whole lot bigger. Those low lights you've been taking out for Kenny Boy, they all belong to the same asshole. And that asshole's gonna want some good old fashioned revenge. You dig? So, who is this asshole? His name's Sinjin. He's taken two-bit raider outfits and made them... scary. Small fish now, but if left alone... I happen to know where some of his other boys are. Smiling Kate operates outside of Bunker Hill. And Northy's got a pad over at Prospect Hill. You take them out, and maybe we can find out where the big guy himself is stashed. Good neighbor dressed a whole lot easier with him out of the picture. I'm up for some community service. You know, you're all right. You take care of Sinjin, and I'm inclined to show some gratitude. You feel me? All right. Here we go. Okay, just outside Bunker Hill here, I see smiling Kate. And she does not show as hostile. Good job, Hancock. I think he dropped two of them there. Leave the calling card. Go. All right, one down. We're gonna go clean up and get after the next one. Okay, we are super close to the next one. Yeah, not my <laughs> I don't know if he got wise to us early or what happened there that he was aggro. Maybe he there was no dialogue opportunity. It's a hollow tape. Silver Shroud claimed the hits. Northy, Sinjin wants you to keep up the recruiting efforts. We need more warm bodies after we deal with the costume. And don't worry, Kate's gathering a bunch of meatheads to take the Shroud out. The boss ain't happy. Now's not a time for failure. He's getting personally involved. He's gonna pay the Shroud's flunky friend a special visit in Good Neighbor. After he's done with that, he'll check in. He'll expect results. Shit. Okay. Yeah, they're going after Ken. We did wander a bit close here, which seemed to trigger the DLC, Mechanical Menace, that I've been putting off for a very long time. But I think... It's quite a ways off. I, I don't think I'm at risk of it bugging out on me. So we're going to stay on task here and get back to Good Neighbor. What's going on, Irma? Oh, it's you. Oh, sugar. I told Kent all that hero stuff was going to get you both killed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Calm yourself. The Shroud is here to help. Please, stop. That's what got Kent into trouble in the first place. A dozen raiders barged in and snatched him when they 
took him away. They left you a message. Just listen to Kent's radio station. It keeps playing it over and over again. Okay. Yeah, we gotta try and save Kent. Milton General, is that Oh, it's down here. It's it's a different one. Interesting. It's done by Fallons. Huh. Well I was not expecting that actually. But oh, well, that's where we're going. Giddy up. Okay, right about here. Setting her down at the target location. I do the same. Yeah, so we dropped in. I had the vertebrate land about halfway. The boat tour place. Legendary Raider. Yeah, you don't cross in front of me while I'm shooting, genius. Oh boy. I didn't hit him? I think I might have hit Hancock with that shot. <laughs> okay, are we about done? Okay, so <laughs> the insertion was not super smooth, uh, but we're going to pick up and get our bearings. Okay, we're back on the move. We're going to have to pass through. This estate here. Uh, but we're just going to try and critical path it. I don't want to get pulled into something. We might be going past a magazine right now, but that's fine. I'm just going to have to circle back to this area anyway. Because uh, we're just here for for Kent and the Silver Shroud. Here's our hospital. Yeah, like that sort of nonsense over at Fallon's with the super mutants. Not messing with it. Ooh, but we will do this.
going down. I don't actually know where I'm going. But following the trail of jerks seems like a solid play. Christmas. You still gonna find me? Thought that was a head up there. I feel like we're on the right level ish. We just need to get over to that other section. I mean, Hancock can clean up after. Yeah, this would have been a good time for shotgun, but with this silver shroud get up, I don't have any pockets, so I'd have really cut weight to make this work. I got knocked down. <laughs> They're all green, so it should be a chance to parlay here. Like a grenade went off in here. Say it again. Hold assholes. Anyone turns heel, I'm coming for you and your family. And you, Shroud. You step any closer, and we get to see what's inside Kent's head. You shield yourself behind an innocent. You are Craven Sinjin. And you shall fall before me. 
Don't talk to me like that. Some of these losers think you're some sort of legend. <laughs> like you walk straight out of a comic book. But you and I know you're human. And you're weak. You came here and for what? You little sidekick? I have cut a path through all your thugs. Who can truly say I'm not the Shroud? Don't listen, man. She's a phony. So what's gonna happen is this. I'm going to kill Kent. Then we're gonna shoot the hell out of you. Nothing's gonna be left but paste. Then I'm going to good neighbor and kill every last worthless bastard there and burn the whole thing down. No one screws with Sinjin. I am the instrument of justice and I cannot fall. Death has come for you, evildoer. And I am its shroud! Stop talking like that! <laughs> Listen close. It's the last thing you're ever gonna hear. It is the shroud. It really is. Screw this! Coach. That'll do. Everyone else peeled off. Hancock loved that. Nice. Kent. I've never been so happy to see anyone in my entire life. Are you all right? My leg is killing me. But it could have been so much worse. I just give up. On all of it. Crime fighting just isn't what I thought it'd be. Really? After all this, you're just giving up? I knew it was bad out there. But this? I don't even think the Silver Shroud himself could fix this disaster area. If you just quit, then the bad guys have already won. You... you're right. But I'm tired. I just want to go home. I'm going back to good neighbor. Really, thanks for saving me. But I'm just done. Heads up. Shoot. Job's done. Sinjin's dead. So down goes the big bad Sinjin. We get to walk that tightrope of freedom one more day. Take this for the effort. You have any other work? You've done plenty of work already, pal. Ah, Ken, my man. Why the long face? You got what you wanted. I was t tortured. Almost died. It's not like the radio plays at all. Hey, who hasn't been tortured from time to time? <laughs> the price of throwing down with the man is always a few scars. Pick yourself up. Good neighbor's just a bit safer thanks to the two of you. What would the Shroud be without his faithful friend, Rhett Reinhardt? This... this means a lot to me. I'm gonna need some time to heal, you know? But then I got a special project in mind, just for you. I'll fire up my radio station if I make any progress. Alright, I think that's gonna be a wrap. This has been The Silver Shroud and Hancock. Uh, coming up next, I'm not actually sure. We gotta do some juggling with companions. And we'll figure it out. Uh, level up. I think here we go better criticals. A little more juice there would not go amiss. Done and done. That'll do it. Thank you all so much. Please like and subscribe. The Silver Shroud. We'll see you next time.